Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? So good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is to make Kim and my official announcement for our fall challenges, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be bringing you these challenges. Kim and I have worked long and hard talking about the dates for these challenges and for the rules for each challenge. As I'm going through these, I'm gonna be putting up some examples of the three types of challenges that we are presenting. I'm gonna give you some examples of some of my creations. And as I'm talking, you'll see them either flash in a picture in picture up here, or maybe I'll do a split screen on some, or I'll just uh, actually cut away and you'll still hear me talking, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So be watching out for, for those pictures and some examples to give you some idea of what we're looking for. Or, you know, of course you will create whatever is in your wonderful mind's eye, but I just thought I might give you some examples. Uh, also, too, before I get started to telling you about these challenges, let me let you know the difference between a creator and a subby. I've had some folks communicating with me that they don't know what a subby is. Well, for those who don't know, a subby is a subscriber. A creator is like me, somebody who creates videos for to put up on YouTube. They have their own YouTube channel and they regularly put videos up on their channel, like Kim at Sweet Daisy Creations does, like I do, and like so many others that you, I am sure, are subscribed to do. A subby is one of our subscribers who doesn't normally put videos, or ever put videos up on their YouTube channel. They just have their YouTube channel so that they can go and view other people's YouTube channels. I like including our subbies in these challenges because I feel like that gives them a way to show us creators and everybody else their beautiful work. So I always try to include a subby video along with the creator's videos. And I will be making a big playlist for each of these challenges. And in each of these challenges, the playlist will include, of course, all of the creator's videos and the subbies video. So everybody has a chance to, to participate and we all get to share our ideas and hopefully that will help others to come up with really great ideas for fall. I'm so excited about these. Kim and I are really excited to bring these challenges to you. We realize this is going to make September really, really busy. And I know that there are a lot of other challenges out from other YouTube creators as well. So, you know, hopefully we all will uh, work together and participate in each other's challenges and really make it entertaining for all of you guys out there to give you nice, great new ideas, maybe for some fall creations that you might want to try in your own home. So with all that said, let me tell you about the three challenges Kim at Sweet Daisy Creations and myself will be presenting. Well, they're gonna be the three, three Wednesdays in September, the 12th, the 19th, and the 26th. And subbies, I'll need your one picture of each challenge the day before it's due to go up by the, for the creators. So let's go through this. First challenge is uh, will be due on Wednesday, September the 12th. Subbies, that means I'll need your picture by September the 11th, by noon, please, Eastern Standard Time, my time, Eastern Standard Time. And this is a fall cozy corner challenge. Yay! Y'all rock at your cozy corners. <laughs> and let's see, three rules for this one. The first rule is please use either a ladder, a table, a basket, all three, or anything else that you can think of, a milk can, you know, tons of things that you can think of that you can build your cozy corner on, in front of, around, or whatever, you know? Number two, a plaque or a sign. And then number three, a garland of some sort. It could be store-bought, it could be fabric, it could be pip berry or leaf, you know, whatever some kind of garland. So those are the three rules for the 
fall cozy corner challenge. <laughs> That's number one. Number two will be a fall tiered tray challenge. Creators, I'll ask you to put yours up on Wednesday, September the 19th. Subbies, I'll need your one picture by September the 18th by noon, please. <laughs> uh, three rules for this one are number one, a two or three tiered tray or just a tray, any, you know, any tray that you want to build a vignette on. Number two, florals. Some kind of florals can be pit berries, can be leaves, can be acorns, can be whatever your mind can come up with within the floral realm. And number three, a sign, a plaque, or a figurine, or all three, or something like that. So again, number two, that's a fall tiered tray challenge. Due Wednesday, September the 19th, subbies the 18th by noon. And the third challenge will be a fall lantern centerpiece, like one of my centerpieces that I make all the time. Yay! First one. I ask that this one will go up Wednesday, September the 26th for creators. For subbies, it'll be uh, the 25th by noon, please. And uh, I'll need your picture, your one picture by the 25th on the 25th by noon. The three rules of this one are a tray. Number one is a tray, number two is a lantern, and number three is a bow topper or bow swag. And I'm gonna ask you to do something with that bow topper or bow swag. In other words, just don't throw a bow on the top of the lantern. Put the bow on it and then decorate that bow. Now I usually make a, a you know arrangement around as you can see by the pictures I'm showing you around the lantern and then I pull that arrangement up into the bow something like that. I'm asking for something like that please. Fall lantern centerpiece challenge. <laughs> I do okay. want to talk to you subbies about your emails. Uh, please don't start sending me emails till September the 1st please if you would. Uh, I I'm going to need to set up three mailboxes within my email and I need to get myself organized and ready to receive your pictures. So if you wouldn't mind waiting until September the 1st to start sending me your pictures of your, you know, challenges of however many you want to participate in. If you want to participate in all three, that's awesome. Send me three pictures, but I would need them in three separate emails, please. I would need you to please put in the subject of your email what picture what picture you're sending me for what challenge i don't want to lose anybody and i don't want us to get confused so that i know that's a little bit to ask of you guys but i would appreciate it if i could get one picture per challenge from you guys that would be really helpful to me and help me not to forget anybody and to help me keep myself organized y'all know i'm organized as all get out <laughs> But that will really help me. So, you know, don't send me a bunch of pictures in one email because I could get confused and it could get, oh, we could have a mess. I keep two different files for these challenges for you subbies. I keep a folder in my email and I also make folders in my, in my photo, uh, in my photos on my computer. That's where I manipulate them and put... You know, sometimes I'll crop them a little bit or brighten them up a little bit or put your names in them and things like, or straighten them if they need to be straightened and that kind of thing. So I do that in my photos, but I got to get them from my mail to my photos in an organized fashion. So I please, please, please ask you not to send me pictures till September the 1st. And when you do send me your picture, please include in the subject to which challenge you're participating, in which challenge you're participating. Yay, okay, and write me a little note and sign your name if you don't mind, just so I'm sure to have your name and I spell it correctly, okay? Sometimes your emails don't have your names in them, and then I'm like, okay, write me back and said, I love you, but who are you? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so if you don't mind, you know, making sure that your name is in the body of the email along with the picture. All right, I think that's it. Uh, oh, also, I will be putting up an official announcement for each challenge two. This video is kind of just an overall announcement video to let you know that these are all coming up in September and to give you some time to think about things and gather things within your home or if you want to go buy things for these challenges that's certainly up to you. I don't 
I'm not encouraging you to do that or asking you to do that. You know, it's always better if you could go shopping in your own, your own home, you know, for things. So, but I think that's it. I think that's it for this one. I know you guys have been wanting to see this one. So this is my first video of the week here. I'll be back later in the week with that uh, big lantern pink and cream and whateverness, a funky bow, either topper or swag. I'm not sure what I'm doing on my big 26 inch cream lantern. So that'll be coming up later in the week. And then, and then I'll be doing my Friday live and that'll be it for this week. <laughs> so, all righty. Oh, let me just say that I hope that uh, there's nobody out there struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or with chronic pain. And if you are, please know that I do keep you in my thoughts and my prayers all the time. I hope that there's nothing weighing on your mind or your heart, pulling your attention away from where it should be or where you want it to be. And with that, I hope you are excited about these challenges because Kim and I sure are. We are super excited. Uh, and I guess that's it. And let me just say in crafting, there are no mistakes, only unique creations. We're gonna have a lot of different unique creations, aren't we, in these three challenges. Yay, I'm so excited. But anyway, I'm rambling, I'm rambling, I gotta close this out. So with all of that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Love y'all to bits. Bye-bye.